The relic forest of the Yertes area is the Green Shield of Semei. Tape pine forests are located in the northern part of the Abai region. The unique forest is a real masterpiece of the nature that gives an incomparable pleasure. The pine that grows here can be found only in two more places on the earth, in Canada and in the Russian part of Altai. This rare natural phenomenon has existed since the time when the glacier broke off the lands of the Yertes region about 10,000 years ago. In order to preserve the unique relic forests, Simi Ormana State Forest Nature Reserve was created. On the territory of the nature reserve, there are animals listed in the Red Book of Kazakhstan. The unique treasure of nature has a great significance. The forest refreshes and purifies the air and also accumulates moisture, which has a positive effect on all living beings in the dry steppes. A beautiful, cozy and incredibly spiritual city which is a homeland for lots of great people. Semi, one of the oldest cities in Kazakhstan, offers many sightseeing places. Now it is the administrative center of the Abai region, located on both banks of the Yertes River. The business card and pride of Semi is a unique suspension bridge. It was built with the participation of specialists from the Japanese company. The earthquake resistant suspension bridge with a total length of 1086 meters is a truly grandiose structure. The walking path offer a beautiful view of both banks of the Yertes River and the slight swaying of the surface under your feet creates a feeling of weightlessness. The city of Semi grows and transforms every year. The number of new beautiful buildings and residential houses increases. A multifunctional cultural and sports complex in the micro district of Karagaili, which is usually called Abai Arena, delights the eyes of ordinary townsfolk. A futuristic center with a media facade opened its doors to the representatives of various sports. Semei has a special status of the historical center of Kazakhstan. There are unique monuments here, for example, such as a fire tower. It was built in the second half of the 19th century, but in 1923 it was decided to build a stone tower even higher for safety. It was kind of a signal tower and even used as a barometer during severe frosts. Semi is associated with the name of the great writer Fyodor Mikhailovich Dostoevsky, who lived here for more than five years. After coming to this city, he continued to write again. Here, he made friends with many great people, like Chokan Walikhanov. The Semipalatinsk Literature and Memorial Museum of Dostoevsky was officially opened in 1971. The only remaining wooden one-and-a-half-story house in the city where the Russian classic writer rented an apartment became the basis of the today's writer's museum, its memorial part. The Mosque of Tinebai Kaukenov The Muslim temple was built in 1836 with the money of the merchant Kaukenov. The Tinebai Mosque was one of the few mosques that operated during the USSR atheistic regime when religion was banned in the society. 
Abai's father, Kunanbai Oskinbayula, and his nephew, Shakarim Kudaiberdiula, went for the Hajj after visiting this mosque. The main complex of the State Historical, Cultural and Literary Memorial Reserve Museum of Abai, Jidibai Burile, is located in the city of Semei. The museum's funds include more than 21,000 exhibits. The museum's scientific library stores more than 16,000 publications. There is also a mosque madrasa of Ahmed Riza, where little Abai was learning more knowledge. These lands are rightly called the homeland of the classic of Kazakh literature, the great poet and educator Abai Kunanbayola. Most of his works were written in the Zhidibai tract. This place became a source of his poetic inspiration and philosophical reflections. It is here that the memorial complex Abai Shakarim is located a unique object both in terms of architectural design and in terms of its technical solution and implementation. The platform 200 meters long, 65 meters wide and 5 meters high, according to the plan, combines two burials, those of Abai and Shakarim, into a single hole and the distance between the two burials is 140 meters. The mausoleums have tower-like forms, differ from each other in the plasticity of the façade and the completion of the domes. The height of the Abai Tower is 32.5 meters and the Shakarim Tower has a height of 31.5 meters. The complex is made of white Mangistau limestone shell rock. The four corner towers complete the overall composition. The house where Abai lived is now a museum. Many of his famous words of edification were written here. The architectural appearance of the building has retained its original view. In five rooms and three halls of the museum, personal belongings of the poet and exhibits donated by relatives and friends of Abai are exhibited. Together with Abai, his brother Ospan was buried in Jidibai tract, and nearby the graves of women dear to his heart, mother Ojan and grandmother Zere, are located. A memorial sign near the poet's house, center of the Eurasian continent, is considered by many people to be the center of Eurasia. This unique place is the heart of the largest continent on the planet. A 21-meter monument to the Kazakh Batir Kushutbai was raised 60 kilometers away from Simei. The number 21 means his age when he, having committed a heroic deed, found his death. The brave young Batir alone drove away the enemies who attacked his native village. The monument is set up on the mountain where Kushigbai Batir was buried. The complex was built in the form of a Duliga, the headdress of Batirs. In the middle of the monument, there is a huge stone depicting a Batir. He leans on a spear. On the other side, the shield of a hero is depicted. The monument symbolizes the vastness of the Kazakh steppe and the soul of the Kazakh people. This ancient land has seen many historical events in its territory. It knows ups and downs and the power of rebirth. It is generally accepted that the land of Abai, which is revered as the Mecca of Kazakh literature, has become the spiritual center of Kazakhstan. It is imbued with the wisdom of poets and the people's love for their homeland.